So what was your first reaction when you started selling work and making a little money? I don't know. Overconfidence if it's so not you know, super confidence. I was just happy that I was able to stick it out and then, you know, and then get things I wanted, you know, mm -hmm. after Things started to change very quickly thereafter. He was rapidly becoming a millionaire. With a guest at the time, we would go out to dinner, we go back to the studio, and he's in this expensive Armani suit. He sees some painting and he feels compelled to change it, and he's painting there in his Armani suit. He was in the loft on Crosby Street. There would be like piles of money all over the place. He was very young and he had never had this much money and I, I think it was very awkward for him. Do you spend it? Do you save it? He had bought two new colored televisions and a TIAC recording machine and he didn't have a bank account. He would often hide the money around the house, so when I would be cleaning up, I would find thousands of dollars under the cushions of the couch or in the pages of a book. That's the way he was living, and he was living high. And whenever I would go over to visit, there was always 20 people hanging around over there. They were smoking pot, they were tons of bottles of very expensive wine, gourmet, gourmet, gourmet delights in the refrigerator all the time that just go to waste. He was able to pay for the party for a while, but that money will kill you if you don't know how to deal with it. You know? I was in charge of the production, you know, making sure the right food was served to the right people and the limo was there, entertaining the buyers. That was my job, to produce his, his party. You know, it was a party. The first really major press about Jean Michel is a story in the New York Times Magazine. For a young African-American fine artist, it was incredible. It was literally rock star status. And there's this incredible photograph of him on the cover. You know, that's really about Jean Michel as a person, as a phenomenon. And so he's propelled into the bigger world of culture. Jean Michel become gigantic celebrity, famous, wealthy, hanging out with celebrities being praised, lavish gifts and money. Everybody wanted a piece of him. It seems to me of all the painters who've risen, you're the one who gets singled out as this kind of a personality. But at the same time, I sort of enjoy, I enjoy, the, I enjoy that they think I'm a bad boy. I think yeah. Great. A whole bevy of beautiful came into the picture. And I remember saying to him, I want you to understand what it feels like to be famous, so go and do what you have to do. <laughs> so it was very hard for me, very hard. He used to often call me Venus in the paintings, and when he was having an affair with Madonna, he painted a painting of me beating up Madonna. We did get in a fight at the Roxy. I'm embarrassed of that. He was an intense center of a cult. He was a cult figure of huge proportion. Nobody knows what it's like if you're two painters in that situation. Nobody else was in that situation with them. They had a different kind of, re, you know, whether it was Fab Five Freddy or all different, they had a different kind of, you know, I wasn't his peer in that sense. I was an older guy to him. And he always wanted to know what I thought. So the reason why I made the movie, I wanted to tell him what I thought. I thought I owed it to him. Ten bucks a piece. Ten bucks. Oh, gee, it didn't work very much on these. I can give you like five. How can I borrow some money? He met Andy through me when I took him to a lunch to be photographed for a portrait. Jean Michel did not want to stay for lunch. He said, No, I have to go. I, I can't stay. About an hour and something later, he arrived with this huge painting. He just went home, and after this little Polaroid of Andy and him, he painted this painting very fast. A really great masterpiece. We all gathered around, and Andy said to me, he said, oh, I'm so jealous. I said, why? He said, oh, he's faster than me. <laughs> Andy Warhol, like most people, was very seduced and enamored by Jean-Michel, and I think probably had a crush on him. 
It was such a big thing for Jean to become that close with Andy, but he was the master of the game. It was great to be that tight with somebody that we all looked up to in that way.